She's a little bit bigger than me, so we're gonna have to do some adjustments, but hopefully not many. So I went and started draping my top, starting with the center front piece. I pinned my fabric on and trimmed it to the shape I wanted. And we have our first piece. Then I went and did the side front piece. I decided I wanted to add a dart here at the side, so I folded that in and then trimmed the excess fabric. And then I cut out my armhole. Lastly, I went and did my back piece. I think I'm going to skip the mock-up and I think I'm going to just cut these pieces to be a bit neater because it seems to be lining up. Like that's my side seam which is perfectly at my side. So I'm going to make this adjustment here. More fabric here. And I'm just going to go and cut this from my fabric. I traced each piece onto my paper making that adjustment I mentioned and then added seam allowance and I cut these out. And now it's time to cut these pieces from my fabric. I also went and cut the pieces for the bottom of my dress. If you watched my last video where I turned that bed sheet into a two-piece set, I used that same exact sleeve pattern for this. And I'm just going to cut my sleeves out. I'm going to be doing the lining in the same material, which I probably shouldn't have done because I'm working with limited material. But I cut it all out. I just can't make mistakes now. And here is my front. I cut two of these. First thing I need to do is add my darts here at the sides of this front piece so i'm going to go and stitch it in place and i'm going to tie those threads together at the point of my dart and now the next step is to attach each of these sides to my center front so i'm going to line up this curved edge with this curved edge right sides facing I pinned it together like so, and then I pinned the other side to the center front as well. And I'm going to sew these all together. We're having some fit issues. So I went and I pinned on one of the back pieces, and my side seam should actually be right here. So I'm going to go and take two inches off from here before I attach the back. And then we need to figure out what we're going to do at these seams here to make it fit better. That is my improved side over there. And this is the side that needs some work. I seam ripped these apart and shortened the center front piece like this. And then went and shortened this side as well, taking some off the top point and the bottom edge. And I sew those back together. Here's our new and improved top. If you look at the dress that I'm basing my dress off of, the back is on an angle there and it goes to a point here to meet up with the sleeve. And the way I have my back cut, it wouldn't do that because it has all this flat space right here. So to do that, I'd have to slant this right here and I'm going to do that but I'm going to lose a little bit of space in my sleeve. This is how I'm going to cut my back. I cut a rectangle piece an inch and a half wide and fold it in the sides and then fold it in half and stitch that in place. And then I sewed my ties to the back of my top right sides facing half an inch from the top edge at the back. I'm going to go and sew this outer top to my lining top. With the right sides together, I sewed down either side of the back and along the front top edge. I'm going to go and stitch my seam toward the lining. Today is the day we finished this dress. Last night I went and I added one sleeve. And here it is. If you look at shirt dresses, most people will cut out a rectangle and add the elastic to one of those ends and close the sides and that's how they would create their elastic shoulder sleeve. I like to do things the complicated way so I cut out my sleeve pattern and I went and created a separate piece here for the elastic. I'm going to show you how I did it 
but I just wanted you to know there is an easier way to add this sleeve. I'm going to start by folding this piece in half and I'm going to sew my elastic casing, which by the way, my elastic is half an inch wide. So I just need to make a casing wide enough to fit that. I'm just trimming off some of this excess material. And then I'm going to go and feed my elastic into here. And I measure my elastic by just putting the top on and pinning my elastic from the front to the back and making sure it fit nice and snug. I'm going to seam rip my basting stitch that I did along my armhole a little bit from the back. And then I'm going to take my shoulder strap piece and I'm going to make sure that this raw edge is facing toward the armhole and I'm going to sew it to where it's like sandwiched. This is the outer, this is the lining, and I'm going to fold them over. It's a little tricky because it's a lot to fold over, but fold it over like so, and I'm going to sew it along here, and that's going to make it so that it's sandwiched in there. So then when you turn it right side out, it's sandwiched in there. And now I'm going to sew the other end of my shoulder strap to the front by sewing it wrong sides facing first here. And then I'm going to flip it and top stitch it in place. I'm going to take my sleeve and I'm going to sew it here along this side and I'm going to serge this raw edge. After that, I went and I sewed my sleeve to the armhole and I searched that raw edge as well. I'm just going to go and finish off this sleeve hem by doing a double fold and I'm going to make sure I leave a little opening and I'm going to feed my elastic in. I'm going to stitch the two ends of my elastic together and then I'm going to go and sew that opening I left closed. And now my sleeves are all finished and it's time to put together the skirt portion of our dress. I cut one piece that's going to go from one back edge to the other back edge and I need to gather the top of that piece. And for the center back where that elastic is going to go, I cut this piece here. I'm not going to do a double fold so I just went and searched the raw edge and I'm going to fold it over and stitch it down to create my elastic casing and then I'm going to attach it to the other portion of my skirt. I'm going to go and sew each side right sides facing together. The back skirt piece with the elastic should be half an inch shorter than the other skirt piece so there should be a little bit of the front skirt piece hanging over at the top. I sewed two straight stitches, the longest stitch length my machine would allow across the top edge of the skirt, not including the portion of the skirt with the elastic of course. I back stitched at the beginning of those stitches but not at the ends and gather the top edge of my skirt by pulling on those two threads at the end i didn't back stitch and once my skirt was all gathered i pinned the gather edge to the outer top's bottom edge not the lining and i sewed those together and i did a little try on this is how two ties in the back would look and I think that I like the two ties better than the one tie. And I already went and hem my dress with a double fold hem. All I need to do is sew these ties on and finish my lining by sewing it into place. This is my bag. I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to mark up the amount of inches I want my tie to sit from the base. I'm going to open my seam just wide enough to fit my tie into. I'm going to just place my tie in there, lining it up with that mark I put there. And I'm just going to go and sew the opening I love back close, sewing over this tie, and that's going to sew it in place. To finish my dress, I just folded under the raw bottom edge of my lining and pinned it down and hand stitched it in place to get this result.